Okay. Ah, uh, kwa ibaya yako umeandika nini? <laughs> kwa ibaya yangu. Yeah. Um change maker, digital influencer, mm. Miss uh, Miss Universe contestant 2017, mm. top 10 finalist, lakini pia program and communications at Global Peace Foundation Tanzania. Ukisikia okay, mtihani kwenye maisha yako, mm. kipindi unasoma au sasa hivi ukisikia tu neno mtihani haraka kichwa ni kicho kitu gani kinakuijia uoga <laughs> mimi naogopa mtihani mm. yani nakusoma kwangu kote na kupenda kwangu kote shule when it comes to exams eh mm. naogopa uoga wangu utabaki pale pale maisha yangu yote nadhani umetaji umewahi kuwa mshi, mshiriki wa mashindano ya urembo yes. na kitu gani ambacho kuwahi kukipenda kwenye mashindano hayo kwanza um, ilikuwa ni pageant ya kwanza mimi kushiriki in, kwenye maisha yangu lakini sikufichi nilipenda kila process ya ile pageant ya Miss Universe ni kati ya nadhani kwa Tanzania ni kati ya mashindano ya umisi ambayo yako tofauti kidogo kwa sababu kwanza it was all about the brains yani mnashindana mna, mna vichwa yani kuna urembo lakini kuna masuala ya kichwani kwa kulikuwa kuna kuna, kuna kuna competition kubwa baina ya wasichana ambao tuliweza kuingia kwenye uh, kwenye top 10 lakini pia naamini ni kati ya pageant Tanzania ambazo zinasimamiwa vizuri pia zinamlinda mtoto wa kike process zake zote ni transparent lakini wako very accountable na na watu ambao wana deal nao ambao ni sisi wasichana ambao tulikuwa tunashindania hiyo uh, Miss Universe 2017 na Miss Universe zote ambazo zimepita na zinazoendelea kitu gani upendi kuposti uh, my family Kwa familia hii? yangu Kwa mimi binafsi na posti familia yangu occasionally mara mara chache sana lakini naamini kila mtu anaji kila mtu anajichagulia maisha yake mimi na post yani napenda kupiga picha and i post all the time yani marafiki zangu ndugu jamaa na marafiki they like Sylvia unapenda picha unapenda ku post that is me lakini sijui wadogo zangu au my dad my grandma mamangu mdogo my cousins kila mtu ana interest yake kwa the more you post other people it's the more na wao wanapata uh, publicity kama ulionayo wewe kwa sasa hawezi kujua hapa utakuwa unamchagulia mtu maisha anayotaka Komenti gani imewahi kukuumiza? <laughs> mm. hmm. katika, katika vitu ambavyo nimejifunza kutokuviweka kichwani kwangu na kuwa na memory navyo hmm. ni negativity especially kwenye mitandao. Hmm. So mi mtu aki, aki, um, akiandika kitu kibaya hmm. nafuta na mblock. Komenti aina gani wewe inakukwaza? judgmental mm. mtu, ana, mtu anakuja kukujaja yani mtu anakuangalia tu au mtu yani hate, hate comments unajua kuna mtu mwingine hata hakujui au anakujua lakini anakuja tu anakuandikia kitu ambacho yeye anajua kabisa hichi kitakukwaza ila mimi sina muda wa kujibu mi i delete mimi nimepitia nime, nime, nime um, mafunzo ya masuala ya mitandao ya kijamii kwa mpaka hapa nilipo naweza nikasema najua jinsi ya ku na negativity kwenye mitandao Uh, katika mitandao ya kijamii Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Facebook Instagram, Instagram, WhatsApp. M- WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah. Mtandao wipi unaofurahia sana? Ah, Instagram. Kwa nini? Because I love to post. And then on Instagram you can post any kind of content na isiku. Yaani kwa mfano Twitter People say Twitter is for intellectuals. Yaani wasomi, yani watu wanaobishana kwa hoja. Kwa hiyo uweze ukaenda Twitter ukaanza ku post tu mapicha yako matano. Pa 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 pa. Yaani ume, umeenda zako siyo wapi au you are just taking pictures you are just posing kwamba eh hey, leo I look good. Then lazima nipige picha ni post. Yaani kule watu wanakujudge tofauti. Lakini on Instagram people um it's it's all about wewe and what you do. Yaani it's more free. And then on Facebook kuna watu aina nyingi. Kwa kule ndio uwezi kujitabiria nini kitatokea. <laughs> That is a very open social media. Mm. And sasa hivi nimeacha kutumia sana Facebook. I only natumia kwa muda mchache kwa sababu ya kazi zangu na nini? Kwa sababu mimi ni mwamasishaji wa mm. masuala ya kijamii. Kwa I have to use all platforms. Yaani tu tu fikishe ujumbe kwa watu wengi kadri ya uwezo wetu. Um, ukiambiwa leo tunaenda photoshoot kitu gani hauwezi kukosa kukibeba 
nguo nzuri zinazonipendeza lipstick napenda lipstick yani <laughs> nispake vitu vyote but lipstick napenda i think mi mwenyewe ni jibebe mane yo photo shoots ndio naenda kufanya mimi so i have to carry myself lazima ni mtu gani uwezi kumpost kabisa boyfriend <laughs> okay sio okay sio kwamba sipendi lakini <laughs> kuna vitu nimejifunza <laughs> uko nyuma kwa hiyo maybe sasa hivi i might come to post my future husband mm. because he will be with me for the rest of my life inshallah kwa yule ni mtu ambaye nitakuja kumpost but for now mm. keep watching me <laughs> <laughs> madini gani unapenda kuvaa na ambayo upendi kuvaa kwenye vitu pass hmm. pass 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 that question mm-hmm. unavaa viatu vya shingapi kaida sasa hapo it depends na nimenunua wapi na kiatu gani kwa sababu siwezi kuwa na tendency ya kwamba eti mimi navaa viatu vya 2000 tu au vya laki tu au vya milioni no kiukweli i buy kitu ninachokipenda no ma, yani I, i do not judge the price but the quality of what i'm wearing same gani uwezi kwenda kununua kiatu kabisa ama nguo? Uwezi kuingia kwenda kununua. Na ni same gani utaenda kununua? Mimi nanunua kote. Hmm. Kwenye boutique nanunua, hmm. kwenye mtumba nanunua. Kwa machinga. Kwa machinga nanunua. Swala hiyo ni kitu kizuri, nimekipenda, alafu nimekijaribu nimekiona hapa fresh. Na una of course, is hmm. life. Ni kauli gani ambazo unazikumbuka? na ukizisikia mm. kama usingeendelea zingekukatisha tamaa au na akili uh, wesi stadu tu hmm uh, mimi nimesema so mm there is once kuna jirani yangu ni mama aliniambia yani unasoma, unasoma public school yani he hawezi kufika kokote thank god nilipata division 1 mm. na mwanae hakupata alipata uh, alipata zero afu ilibidi ya receipt mimi wakati na maisha form 4 jitegemeni irudi kusoma 11 nikawa dada mkuu kwa hiyo kaja pale anawatafuta walimu anataka kufanya process za mwanai kufanya ku receipt and i was the one who nilimsaidia kufanya hizo process zote mm. kwa pia kauli yake niliheshimu yeah. ulikutana na mama ulikutana na mwanzako binti mama yeah. mama yake alikumbuka maneno yale sijui mm. but i played my part nasema <laughs> treat evil with good Kitu gani mtu akikufanyia unahisi kama anakupima akili Maswali Mhm you know unakutana mtu kuna maswali anakuuliza any provoking question and you're like Huyu hmm. anataka yani okay ninaviongea what yani mtu anajaribu kunijudge nini out of what ninachokijibu hmm. maswali Ukipata boyfriend kitu gani cha kwanza unaangalia? I will leave it there. Mana niliemea naweza kaniacha kwa jibu. Usikute hata yeye hana hiyo character. Wanasema think before you speak. Mm. Sasa ngoja ninyamaze. Je, yeah. uko tayari kuvumilia usivyopenda ili uendelee kukaa na mtu ambaye unampenda? Mimi nipo tayari, lakini sasa ujue usivyopenda navyo inategemea ni vipi. Mm. Kwa sababu inawezekana wewe uka kuna kitu kingine kwa mwe, kuna kuna mtu mwingine akakiona kile ni kitu kizuri, afu wewe kwako ndio ukakiona sio kitu kizuri. 
yako unapomjua mtu unapomfahamu mtu ina maana utabeba na wiki hamna mtu ambaye yuko perfect but uko kwenye kuwa imperfect Im, imperfection yake inakuwa affect vipi wewe kwa kiasi gani ambao it's not easy to decide hapo mm. hapo just because you are blinded because unampenda mm. kwa uh, sometimes in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, it, it takes um, imperfection ku affect in a negative way to realize kwamba you are not supposed kuvivumilia si unanielewa mm umewahi kulalamikiwa kwamba umemuibia msichana mwenzako au rafiki yako bwana yake. Ah, yeah, naamini hiyo ndio maisha ya wasichana sisi. Mm. Maana hata kama huyo mtu kweli hauko naye utaambiwa pia hata kama ni rafiki yako utaambiwa umeniibia. Mm. Mm. How do you take? Unachukuliaje? Sasa hapo kwenye kuchukulia ndio inategemea sasa kama ndio kweli umeiba 